Introduction to Web Programming, Tools Needed in Web Programming. Okay, we are requiring few things before we can start the actual programming. First of all, you will need a browser. Well, basically any browser is okay, so if you have Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Edge, they are all fine. And then you need a code editor. There are plenty of code editors available. You can use Visual Studio Code, Atom, Sublime, Vim, Emacs, Notepad++. They are all fine. Just simple editor is definitely enough for this course. And you can use this uh, online service Code Sandbox. It is very suitable for this course. Of course, it's not uh, something that you use in in real life, in organizations, but in this course that is completely fine. Especially if you are, do not have any plans to continue web programming in, in the future. You can also use some kind of a bigger integrated development environment such as IntelliJ, that is fine. And then you will need server to run your code. Yep, you are running code in your browser, but it needs server. Not in all cases, but at least in the end of the course, there are parts that need to be run through server. So if you are using this code sandbox, everything is already fine. And you can install uh, basic uh, XAMPP LAMP environment through this apachefriends.org if you want. Or you can use uh, some kind of a Linux machine, as I have, you can have all the LAMP stacks, so there is Linux, Apache, MySQL or MariaDB, and PHP, Python, Perl, whatever. We are not using any backend programming in, in this course, but we need the server environment. Or you can be the modern and have an old server, which is used in advanced web applications course. But in this course, if you want, you can have a simple node server environment, but it's not taught in this course, just on the next course. And of your course, you need to have some kind of an interest in the topic. So we are programming here. So please be interested in that. Let's have an example on these environments. So there are plenty of options to have your own server. So one of the easiest ways is to install some environment which provides you Apache, MariaDB, PHP and Perl. For example, you can install this to Windows, Linux or Mac OS. In Linux, you can of course use the LAMP stack directly from the package manager. You can easily install that in Ubuntu machine if you wish. And if you want to build your own node server, it's also possible, it's quite easy to build a server that can give you one HTML page, which is pretty much enough in this course. And then again, you can use this uh, code sandbox. This is fine, absolutely nice environment. You can go with vanilla JS project. So after that, you get, get the project that you have a uh, uh, HTML page and a page that has a JavaScript and you can use this as a starting point. With the code chant box, you always save your stuff to GitHub and then you can get get that your code from GitHub any any machine you are coding. And then you can return that to the code grade. 